Welcome back to a new video here on Swap. In this video, I will show you how to make a light leak transition. I'm not sure. I guess you could call it a light leak. Okay, let's just get started right away. In this case, you've seen this in the intro already, and we're gonna use the same clips and we're gonna just grab here a video transition and we're gonna use a cross dissolve. But make sure you don't grab this one because this one is not the fusion cross dissolve. So you wanna go down here until you find the fusion cross dissolve and when you're there you simply click here or right click and go into fusion there we can right click here and take the high quality off while we are working sometimes that can make it easier to play back things now here in this cross dissolve we can actually ungroup these and what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go to the modifier here and we're gonna change the curve from linear to custom here i'm gonna select all of the both points by pressing Control A and then we're going to press F and I'm going to drag these lines all the way until they get closer to the other side so that we have a more sharper uh, transition in the middle like that. So it's not so it doesn't take the whole 24 frames for this to happen. Now, the cool thing here is that this is I can say limit limitless, but here if you go to lens flares, in the templates in fusion you have if you didn't know about it there's a lot of cool things here in fusion that you can play around with so here you have 40 different lens flares that you can use to create cool transitions with now in this case we're going to use the version 10 which is the one that you saw in the example which is this and i'm going to bring these to this side and you will see that it looks a little bit weird in the example that you saw at the beginning I actually went into these L1, L2, and L3, and I actually took these reflections out because I didn't really like it that much. And there we have only these ray right here. And what I did was I actually animated the size and I actually also animated the positioning of it. So first we're gonna animate the size. For that, we're gonna right click and we're gonna go to modify and then anim curves. Here in the modifier, we're gonna change the curve from linear to custom. And we can select both of these and then press F. And we're gonna bring these all the way to zero actually. And we're gonna create a new point here in the middle. We can put 0.5 in the in. And then here in out, we're gonna press one. So it has this weird wave. Select everything and press F again, just to make sure. And we're gonna drag these closer to the center. Once we have that, we will see this in action already. And you can actually change the scale in the example that you saw at the beginning. I had this at three, so it looks a little bit bigger. There it goes. And it actually, isn't, it doesn't even have to fill the whole screen. It's really more about taking the attention away for a millisecond so that the attention spam goes to the light. Now, the next thing, we're gonna go to the primary center here and we're gonna go to path. And here we can create, click these, and we're gonna draw our path here. It does, and you can actually make it go anywhere you want. This is just what I did in that example. And we're gonna go to the modifiers here, and we're gonna double click on this placement. And you'll see that when we move these, the rays will move too. So we're gonna go here to modify again in anim curves, and we're gonna go to curve and create a custom one. And then we can press F, and you can adjust these two if you want. So you can play around with this. There's no set rules for these. It's all about how creative and how you would like it to be. And there we have our transition. Now, if you want a different color for these, this is the part that I don't like that much in this case is that you have to play around here with the different colors in the curve section. There's no like a select color like here, for example. But so if you want something that's a little bit more purple, I guess, you will just bring the green down or bring the blue a little bit closer and then play around with the different colors so that you get to the color that you like. Now, before I leave, I want to mention that the SV Transitions Pack winner for of the giveaway has been drawn and you will see here on screen and I've already emailed that person and when the Transitions Pack launches this week, he will be the first one to receive one well, also the people that pre-order the pack. If you want to pre-order it, you can check the link down in the description. 
That is it again for this video. I will see you next time here in Suavi. Bye.